good or bad? If you monetize that at 30 to 50 cents, you're, you're in a significant income uh, bracket in just, in, in just a 30 day period. You guys get that? So please, uh, look at this information like it's, it's a life changer because it is, because I had no experience in telecom energy or direct sales or talking in front of people, and it happened to me. And if it could happen to me, guess who else it could happen for? God bless. God bless you. In conclusion, in conclusion, I want to piggyback on one thing that Mr. Duran and Court just shared. Folks, right now we believe that when people ask us the question, because we've got experience in this, when they say things like, well, Steve, is it still mud level? And then when I say, nope, they look all depressed and sad because they think that I mean it's not good. I say, no, it's mud level. It's not ground floor, it's mud level. So you got to, I've said it backwards, is it, is it still ground floor? No, mud level. Because the thing is, this hasn't even surfaced. When I look at the incomes of all these people standing here right here, all of us, the primary source of that income was in telecommunications. So we've done that for years. The richest person in the world today walking the face of the earth, a gentleman named Carlos Slim, guess who he, what he owned? A VoIP company in Mexico. So guess what? If the richest human being in the world is in the same industry as us, are we at least playing in the right game? Yes. Not to mention, although we've made the primary amount of money that we've earned in telecom, there's an industry now that's 10 times bigger than that of telecom that we've just tapped into, and it's called energy, where people are literally making money as we speak here today. We've got thousands and thousands of customers that when they come home and turn on their lights, we're making money. When they come home and they're hungry and they cook on their gas stove, we're making money. We've never been in their kitchen, we've never been in their house, but when they cook on their gas stove, we make money. I'm telling you right now, most of us in this room have never been in a position to get paid that way. So when you think about all the things you see on television, you can't turn on CNN, MSNBC, or any of the business channels without hearing about the devastation of the economy. You can't turn it on. Before the presidential election, you know everything that was coming out of everybody's mouth? Fiscal cliff. That was what everybody was focused on. The fiscal cliff. Everybody in the country was on the edge of their seat in total panic mode in anticipation of are we going over the cliff. And you got people like all of us standing up here in front of this room that didn't care one bit about a cliff. <laughs> now, not that we weren't concerned about other people, but we've taken our lives in our own hands. So we just weren't walking towards that cliff. It's like that, we're not, we're good over here without walking over that cliff. And it's because we understand, listen, they can't put any presidential election on anybody's shoulders to say what's going on in this country. There have been so many multiple presidential terms prior to Barack Obama being in office that was so screwed up, they've been in a deficit for as long as everybody can remember. So if the government can't stay afloat, and can't get out the red, how do you expect them to teach you how to handle your money? So all we're saying is, all we're saying is this, and I'm not in any way trying to push what your political choice is. I'm saying whether it was going to be Obama or Romney, it didn't make a difference to the money that was coming in the Carter household. That didn't make a difference. So here's what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this, we've got a vehicle that bucks the system. That's all we're trying to say. So when you look at every direction that everybody else is running, why is it that 97% of the population works for the other 3%? Have we ever thought about that? Why is it that our schools don't teach financial literacy? Yes. yes why is yes, that? Yes. Why is that? They don't teach it. So you know what? They don't want our kids learning the things that we learn. And I'm telling you right now, it's sad that the most important subject that should be in the schools isn't being taught. What are we going to do about that? Fix it. We're absolutely fixing. Look, we've got non-for-profits. We've got things that we're putting in place. My wife and I are starting something called Carter Leadership Development, where we're starting to teach children financial literacy. It's amazing that now my children are eight, six, four, and two. And guess what? They already know what they want to do in, in, in their life. They want to be business owners. Why? Because they don't have to look past the front door to see millionaires. They don't have to look past the front door to see role models. It's time out. It's time out for our children looking out into the street for the examples. 
Because we know that out in the streets, anything can happen. And they get caught up in things, especially because of what's on TV now. Especially for what's being played on the radio now. And the things that are going in our children's minds. We've got to stop all of that. We've got to fix that. Yesterday, my daughter was out in the, in the driveway, and she had the little colorful chalk. And she wrote in a big old, and she's six years old. She wrote, Daddy is a leader. Six years old. Now, I'm not saying that to say, look, I'm a No, I'm saying my six-year-old is conscious of that. So we've got a lot of work to do. And I'm telling you right now, I couldn't be more proud to be in business with everybody up in, in this stage right here. But we, we're going to fix it. I promise you that. We're going to fix it. Absolutely. So this system allows us to do that. So all we're looking for, team, are the ones that want to roll with us. Because guess what I did a minute ago as we shut this down right now? I had all the people that are at trainers stand up. I then had what? Executive trainers stand up. The next earned position. Then I had what? Executive directors. That's the next earned position. Then I had what? National directors. Next earned position. Then I said, you know what? All my senior vice presidents, come join me up here. Then I said, you know what? The double platinums, come join me up here. Share some words, Pop. Why did I do all of that? Let me tell you why. I wanted you to see every single position in this company having been hit. Every single one that has been hit. So that you can't say this isn't happening. But although you saw every position, those aren't the most important people in the room. It's not Steve, it's not Tupac, it's not Lisa, it's not all these SVPs. We aren't the most important people in the room. It's exactly what this sister over here is saying. It's the generation of tomorrow. Now guess what? We don't have any children in here. But we've got the next wave of leaders in here. And if this is your first time here, I don't care if you don't have $400 in your pocket. That's not what I'm asking you. What I'm saying is, if what you've seen here tonight makes logical common sense to you, and you could see your way to learn what we do, not stop anything that you're doing right now. Don't skip a beat in what you're doing. We can show you how to start making money on top of what you're doing, and your boss doesn't even have to know what you're doing. Not that you've got to hide it, but we can customize it to fit into what you're doing. And you'll start seeing revenue come in while you're still doing the regular, everyday method of operation that you're accustomed to. And if that makes sense to you, we just want to recognize who's ready to roll with us. So we want to ask, instead of all the people that are leaders in this business, where are our next leaders? So if this is your first time here, and you see yourself rolling, stand up. Everybody that sees themselves. Matter of fact, all of you, come on up front. Shake your hands. Come on up front, you guys. Keep your hands clapping, Bernie. Let's encourage them. Come on up front. Everybody that sees themselves getting started. Come on up front. My man, come Anthony. Good front. man. Good man. Jersey, clap your hands louder. This is the next wave of five minutes leaders. Girl, I want you on my come team, on girl. <laughs> come on. Come on, baby. My here. man, congratulations, dog. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Congratulations, man. Now, come on. Let me say this, you guys. Let me say the most important thing that I want everybody up here to understand. The most important thing, congratulations. That's number one. Now, I also want to point something out that's probably going to be a refreshing aha for all of you here. And that is that what you've just done, just standing up and walking up here, in our opinion, and you can ask any of my peers that are right here with you, what you've just done, in my opinion, is the hardest thing. You've already done it which means every single step moving forward is easier than what you've already done. Now, why do I say that? Because the most difficult thing to change in someone's mind is their paradigm. It's for them to have that shift of where they are versus where they want to be. And when you clearly see the path that can get you there, and not only the path that can get you there, but the leadership to support it. Because here's what I know, even though I'm meeting many of you for the very first time tonight. Here's what I do know. Whether you already own a business or have had experience in business or whether this is your first time ever stepping out on your own and doing something other than working for someone else, guess what you need to know? You are now in business for yourself, but not by yourself. And I can prove that, Jersey. Do we have it back? Yeah. We're not sending any of you bear hunting with a switch. We're not
not into that anymore. We know that people come back ball. Not into that. So that's what we understand. That's what all these leaders up here standing next to you understand. And we're, and we're unashamed about it. Is that the more money we can help you make, the more money we make. The more successful we can help you become, the more successful we become. The bigger the organization we can help all of you build, the bigger our own organizations grow. So we have a vested common interest in helping you succeed. Because those of you that just stood up here, if we got you in and said, congratulations, go get them, Tiger, that's not going to work. <laughs> because if we allow you to go try to figure this out on your own, we already know what happens nine out of ten times. If, no, if nobody has training on this, guess what? They go out here, they attempt it their way, that doesn't work, and guess what ends up coming back to us? People say, you know what, I was in that thing and I didn't make any money. And folks, I'm going to tell you right now, bad news travels 16 times faster than good news. <laughs> and the other thing that we want you to know up front is that when you're told no, MIT did a study, a study that when someone is told no, it takes 14 yeses to reinforce their belief that the no wasn't true. God, that's how impressionable we are as, as human beings. So guess what we're going to keep telling you? Yes. You can do it. You can do it. And I'll say it 14 times for every idiot that tells you you can. <laughs> so here's the thing. What we want to do is we're going to light Jersey on fire together. And so we want all of you that are standing up here, all we ask of you is to get with the person that invited you here tonight. And you let them know when you see yourself getting started. You know your financial situation better than us. So when you know you've got 400 that you can put in, the first thing we're going to do is put you on a game plan so that within 30 days, you get that 400 back. Why? Yes. Because every dollar thereafter is profit. We don't care how much it is. We know that once you hit profit, we call that the belief check. Because then when you start making money, you say the same two words that we all said when we first start making money. It works. <laughs> so guess what? We want to show you that up front so that you naturally go out and start expressing that to other people. So we're going to walk you through a system that works. My, my partner Marvin and I, we were just in Charlotte last week. We broke down our system for like an hour with all our top leaders. And we talk about how simple of a process this is. As adults, let's not uh, complicate this. Here's what I mean. I'm going to let you guys go. But here's, here's a concept, because I want you, before you leave here tonight, to understand the simplicity. How many of you have heard of the game called baseball? <laughs> Well, you know the concept. Even if you're not a big sports fan, the concept is get around the bases and score. The person that scores the most runs wins the game. Well, guess what scoring is in our business? Every time somebody goes around the bases and they score, guess what they're saying to you? I'm ready to get started. Kiet, what's next? Sign me up. I'm in. That's scoring in our business. So guess what we're doing? We're letting people get up to bat and we're teaching them how to go around these bases every day around what they're doing in their job. Here's an example. How do you get to first base? Go to people we teach you to say, look, I found a way to make some money. I need to get you the information. I need 30 seconds of your undivided attention so I can tell you what I'm doing. Now here's the psychology behind that. People never say, you know what, kid, I got 30 seconds tomorrow. 3.30, <laughs> call me in. Doesn't work. Why? Human psyche, they're too curious to know if you tell them, look, I, I found a way we're going to make money. I need 30 seconds of your undivided attention to get you the information. What is he going to say? What is it, Steve? Talk to him. i got 30 seconds right now. And all I'm going to do when he says that so is three words come out of my mouth when he says, what is it? These three words are, write this down. That's all I'm doing. He's going to say, write what down? I'm going to give you a phone number. What is it? It's a pre-recorded message. Why? I'm new. I don't want to explain it. Listen to this. And I'm going to let you know. Look, it's a two-minute message that explains the concept of what I'm excited about. I'm pursuing this. However, let's first establish whether or not you even like what you hear. I can get you more information later, but dial the number, listen to the two minutes. If you like it, let's roll from there. That's it. So guess what? You don't have to explain it. The message explains it. If they come back to you and say, you know what? That's interesting. How does this work? Then we got a second base we're going to put them on. Second base is a presentation. I don't care what kind. It could have been tonight's presentation. could have been something online, website that's available 24 hours around their schedule, not yours. It's available, same 24 hours a day. 
They go to www.whateveritis. They watch the video. They like what they hear. Now we want to put them on what base? Third. Third base is we're going to get them on the phone with your senior partner. That's it. What's your first name? Andre. Andre. Let's just say that Andre was brought to me. I'm the leader, and Tupac was talking to Andre at work. Here's how this works. This is why I mean you all can do this while you still work your job. If Tupac is brand new, still working the job, and Andre is his co-worker, and he says to Andre, Andre, and role play with me, Andre, what you would naturally say, Andre, I found a way to make some money, man, on top of what we're doing here at this job. I need to get you the information, but I need 30 seconds of your undivided attention. Write this down. He's going to get a pen out, write it down, or he's going to get his cell phone out and put it in there. He's probably going to ask after that what? What's this? I'm going to say it's a two-minute message explaining what we're getting ready to do. We're going to make some money. I'm pursuing this regardless. But listen to that, because if you like what you hear, I'll get you more information. There's more to, to learn, but let's first establish if you even like what you hear. So listen to that and get back to me. Let me tell you the psychology behind this, is that Andre doesn't feel like I'm chasing him at all. Andre doesn't feel like I need him. Why? I said, I'm pursuing this. If you like it, let me know. I'm not chasing you. So if you listen to it, you like it, you come back, Steve, or if Tupac, this is interesting. How does this work? I'm going to say, you know what? Write this down. Guess what I'm going to give him? The website, which is available how often? 24-7. So even if Tupac sleep, and you're not, you can watch it. So when you watch it, it could be 3 in the morning, whatever your schedule allows. So guess what? After you watch it, full presentation. Now, guess what you already know, Andre? You know the name of it is Five Links. You know it's 249 to get in. You know it's about selling essential services that everybody breathes and uses every day and that they can't ever pay it off and they have to pay the bill every month. You know that this is about building a team, getting paid on folks you've never met in your life. And you know doggone well that that makes sense. <laughs> so when you come back and say, Tupac, I like what I see. That's, he said, exactly. <laughs> That's what Tupac would do if he was brand new. If I was the one working with him, Tupac's going to text me your name and number. Period. Steve, this is my coworker Andre. He's on third base. You know what that says to me in, in those little words? It means Andre has already listened to the pre-recorded, and Andre has already watched the presentation. So my dialogue is totally different from what the traditional network marketing three-way would be. And it doesn't even have to be a three-way, because if Tupac's at work, I'm calling you direct. I'm going to text you. Hey, Andre, my name is Steve Carter. I'm contacting you on behalf of Tupac and Renancourt. I understand that you're interested in what we're doing with Five Links. Give me a call and let me know what time works for you. We'll try to match schedules to chat today. So if that comes in on your text, you know who I am. You're not screening the voicemail. You're not screening the number you don't know. And then you contact me back, let me know when you're free, even if Tupac's not involved. Why is it not relevant whether he's involved in the beginning stage? Because if he's new, I want him making money. We don't have to kumbaya and all be on the line. I just want to make you money. So let's talk to Andre. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm calling Andre. And he tells me, Steve, I get off at 5 o'clock. I'm, I'm available then. Guess who I'm calling at 5 o'clock? Andre. Here's my language. Hey, Andre, listen. It's a pleasure to talk with you. Um, I understand that you got a chance to see a video and kind of have an understanding of what we're doing. Is that accurate? Okay, great. Listen, before we talk anything about five links, Andre, here's what I want to point out. Is I want you to think about something. We have a system that works, Andre. And I'm going to point this out to you real time. You realize how much time Tupac spent with you in total to get you to this point? Probably 30 seconds, two minutes at the most. Took you 30 seconds to write a phone number down. You listened to the recording on your time. And then you went back to him, and he probably took another 30 to 60 seconds and said, write this down, and it was a website. So Tupac spent maybe two minutes talking with you, but you and I are on the phone. And the only reason I wanted to point that out, Andre, is because whether you've got a flexible schedule or whether your schedule is crazy hectic, I wanted you to see that you can still fit this in. Because if you're willing to find little two-minute windows of time throughout your day and give other people that same number and that same website, I will get on the line and have the same professional dialogue with them as I'm having with you right now. So, with that being out of the way, let me ask you a question. Do you have any questions no, in regards to what you saw in the video? Man. Absolute genius. That's well. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is the system our organization is mastering right now. Mastering right now. Because now, here's the thing. You, you, I plant the seed in your mind, Andre, 
that, God, too, I really spent a minute doing this, a minute doing, I can do this. No matter if you've got two jobs. Forget this old school, blue collar way of doing network marketing. Andre, I thought we were going to make some money. Let's meet at Starbucks after work. People do that right now and they think they're doing this business. They're doing it, but they're doing it what I call blue collar style. It can work. But yeah, I always I use the analogy of this, Andre. I live in Dallas. There's multiple ways I could get to Houston, right? We can walk, take two months. <laughs> we could say that don't make sense, Dre. Let's ride a bike. Take us a couple weeks. <laughs> we could say, Dre, this is silly. Why don't we drive? Take us four hours. Or I could say, you know what, Dre, forget all of that. Why don't we fly private? <coughs> Let's get there on our own plane and get there in 30 minutes. See, to me, the way we do network marketing today is flying private. The way a lot of others are doing it, they walk into Houston. <laughs> so all I'm you is, we can do this. So this system, the reason I want to share that with all of you is because I want all of you to understand that we're going to show you this process. We're going to show you how it works. So as long as you can get people on the phone with your senior partners, we've got the verbiage that, that can get them to understand it from here. So I just want to welcome each and every one of you to the family. I want to congratulate you. Let's give them a round of applause. And we're in the room. We're in the room. What's next? Because I'm done. What's, what are we doing next? Let's have everybody. If we have partners that can at least put applications in these folks' hands, we have applications here? Excellent. Okay, great. So what's being put in your hand, you guys, is just information for you to be able to get into the system.